Right. About time. That was a good story. I mean, so far, so good. They still at the beginning stages of check, the story. Check, check, of check, course. Check. Of course. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Yeah, when I saw that. I need mine up a little bit more. Ooh. Boom, boom. Edgar needs to go down a bit. He's loud. I'm always loud. I know. That's why you need Puerto to go Rican, down. Man. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> From the hood, you talk loud there. You listen to loud music. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're already recording. Fuck yeah. me. <laughs> uh, we back. Oh, yeah. All right, so, Joe, the other thing is, on this computer, you just run the intro, should be like... Do you realize how bad this was for you to just not be a part of this? Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm looking for any excuse not to be on here. You want to introduce him? <laughs> um, do you want to introduce him? Honestly? Yes, yes, yes. Not Episode... yet, not yet, not yet. All right, rewind. So you just hit right play on that when you're done with yeah. the <laughs> Take two. <coughs> yeah, dude, this is this is the worst thing you've ever done. Yeah, why are you doing this? Couldn't even get I don't like, like a, you today. Bro, couldn't even get a practice run or anything. You know? Just like he comes in, he's like, oh hey, guess what? You're doing all the talking this week. I was like, oh, you know. no, that's you know. Cause like you can you can just sit here on the pod and you'd be like, Yeah, Edgar, you know what I'm talking about? He's like, I didn't watch it. Nope. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm too busy. I have you know, wife, kid. Absolutely. I mean, oh, yeah. shoot. Oh, yeah, it keeps me on my toes, <laughs> man. Sad. Yeah. Uh, no, man. I well, I got know. something that I'm going to deep dive and talk a lot about anyways, so we'll be all right. Let's get loud. For sure. Let's get it. You ready to start this fucking thing? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> We're on episode 16 of yeah. This Might Get Loud. Yeah. Yes. Right. yes. Oh, it will. Sweet 16. So you introduce it you're in Mike. You introduce him. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Are we rolling? Right. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Woo! This might get loud. Episode 16. I am boom, a dur. We're without Jeremy this week because fuck him. Can't stand him. Actually, <laughs> no, he's actually just behind the mics. He's behind the scenes. Things. Back there, he's going to handle and do what he actually likes to do. And I'm sitting next to Edgar this time, so Chubb's going to be a little higher than half mass this week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Edgar, who'd you bring this week? We have a special guest. Uh, Warrington is here, and uh, he's in the music industry. He's he's start, starting out your career, or you've been in it for a little while? Yeah, totally getting back into it. Getting back in, that's getting always good, man. It, man. I'm, I'm following my dream right now, too. And this yes. is it. This is something I'd always wanted to do, so yeah, go for it. Yes, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, one to, well, first and foremost, thank you guys for allowing me to be here. Hell yeah, man. Um, yeah, getting back into music, it's like a thing where it's like, damn, I shouldn't have stayed away that long. You know, okay. because right. acting, of course, and especially studying it, takes up so much of your time. Right. Um, but it just felt right. It felt like it was time to get back into it and um, just exercise your instrument. You know, as an artist, you always want to do that anyways. So, um, yeah, I just felt it was right. It was just right. It felt right. And um, that's what I Okay. So what brought you nice. to music in the first place? What? Yeah. So let's take, take it back to the beginning, bro. Listen, I want to learn about Listen, you. okay. First things first, right? You. First things first. Um, growing up, I grew up with my great greats, right? So mom and dad divorced in Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, we got here, right? Okay. Because uh, what do you do when you get a divorce? You move in, you know, with, with family. So great grandmother, great grandpa, they all lived here. Okay. And uh, so... Moved from Brooklyn to Florida, and um, I grew up to vinyl, right? Listening to vinyl, all different kinds. Uh, so my, so my, I'm of Haitian descent. Okay. So we listened to everything from compa, Spanish, Puerto Rican music as well. Um, we listened to um, French, uh, a lot of French uh, music. Makes sense. Oh man. Yeah. And um, it was it, it was a treat, right? That towards the end of the week. We were, if we were a lot, if we did good with our spelling, if we did good, you know, with our grades and, and finish doing our chores, we could sit on grandma's, you know, fancy, you know, all plastic, <laughs> fancy yeah, 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 uh, yeah, chairs yeah. to listen to vinyl, 
all different types of vinyl. So, and, agree, and you know, I'm, I, Michael Jackson, first things first, I got I to say that because um, that was such a revolutionary time. Obviously for him, um, you know, breaking out from the Jacksons and just him being developed. Yeah. I was born in 87, so I'm considered a Generation X kid. Um, and growing up listening to, well, of course I listened to the Jackson 5 even before Michael, but there was a lot of things being birthed around that. And I grew up... Around that era, yeah. What? Great music. I grew up very, like, naive to the aspect of when I saw, like, reruns of the Apollo and just, like, all these different types of artists coming out with their songs. I thought, like, you know, everybody did this. Uh -huh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, okay. I, I thought it was, like, a thing that you actually do Yeah. <laughs> if okay. you discovered that you have that. It's yeah. in you. So, oh, and, and my aunt... Um, Wanda, shout outs to Wanda Toby. Um, you know, she she got into dancing a lot, you know. So I exercised that as well. And uh, that's really where it started to form. Just watching these things and inside you feeling like, oh, I can contribute. And knowing that I wanted to imitate first Michael Jackson, James Brown, okay. you know, all these other um, people. And then really learning how they were inspired, like the Bobby Cadwells. And, you know, it's like... All of that just, it just penetrates you. And it's like, you have to do it too. Right. And so is that like in the blood? Or like, are you the only one that does like the music stuff? Do you have like family members? Yes. Too? You know, um, it's interesting. Only recently, I think earlier this year, <laughs> my mother told me that she used to do uh, like little skits, little plays, actually. I think in New York, but, I, I, from, but really There's in so Haiti. There's so much theater over there too. Yeah, so. yeah. But no. Everybody is either like uh, nurses um, um, or engineers, you know what I mean? And uh, so I was the odd one. Okay. That, oh my God, there's, we can get into that. Right. But, yeah. Right. It, no, it, totally it was a shocker. That. It was a shocker uh, for them. And, 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 and to, you know what, to add on to that too, that's also where the birth of uh, you know, my love for playing characters, understanding what really acting meant. You know, that, that came in there, too. It's hard to say which one that I love first. I, I always say I think music first right. was my first okay. love. But it's hard because they both, you know, passionately infect, affected me. Right. I, I, yeah. I always think, like, when somebody starts to create, mm -hmm. it just becomes, like, they just purely create. Like there's no there's no like yeah. medium there's there's things that you're obviously strongest at but you just have that equal passion towards like everything. I think the thing for me yeah. as a creator too was when like because I started the opposite of what most like um, yeah. uh, people in video. Yes, uh, I started yes. the opposite. Most people like grow up with a camera in their hand. Right, right, right. Uh, they're Steven taking Spielberg pictures. And... They're doing this. And I didn't. I The first time I picked up a camera, I was 20 years old. Yeah. So it was like I had a really late start to it. And then um, I actually started with video. I never took photos. Wow. So I realized how trash I was at taking like photos. <laughs> like I was a horrible photographer. And I was like, this doesn't make sense to me. And it was so frustrating. And then I just stopped. I never took photos again. Right. And then it was... I think it was just like a few years ago, like three years ago, I finally like kind of understood it better. And yeah. then I was able to express myself in a completely different way that I hated doing. Right. So it was right. like, like to Josh's point, it was kind of like when you create, it's infectious and it just spreads to multiple. It can spread to different things like yeah. me. I, I'm so like musically just not talented, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but visually I can do that. So anything visually, I mean, I, want to get good at you just yeah. kind of seek it out yeah but that's just... like the same thing that that like i'm saying is where like because like you said you don't do music stuff at all right and some of the best ideas that personally i've ever put together musically is usually just you sitting in the background just chirping at me like little well, ideas I, and stuff i'm not like musically that. talented but i know music and music has been like a passion of yes. mine for a long time you know always music, 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 yes, stuff yes, like that absolutely. but i'm not an artist or anything right, right. like I, I could write poetry because you know back in school that was kind of like what yeah. did, you <laughs> right know? you so write like haikus writing and shit? was always great yeah man. you write haikus can you write me a haiku for my birthday? No. <laughs> <laughs> but in between classes, I get you, right? <laughs> in between classes, people will be spitting and stuff. And you know, you just had to do it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. just the writing aspect of it. But yeah. Did you just ask for a haiku for your birthday? <laughs> 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 
Asshole. Dude, it would it would stay with me forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From just dearest Edgar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's let's fast forward to like now. You're yeah. back in the music scene. You're yeah. back to making yeah. music. Yeah. What what's your sound? Like what do you what do you okay. make in? See, so it's, all right, so one thing you have to know about me is A, I really um, deter from titles. We gotta get this uh, guy a fucking uh, hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I deter from titles. Um, I leave that really yeah, to like the, 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 the music executives. In my room right on the speaker. You know, other people, they'll try to tell me titles and, and where your music genre or this falls into. And of course, you know, to a degree in bis to you know business aspect, I get mm-hmm. that, but um, yeah, I don't do titles. I I I more work from the space from creating how I feel, what 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 is currently pending. Right there. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is That's nice. That's exactly what you yes. are. Fuck a John Wayne's limited merch. Fuck Fuck a genre. Genre. We're gonna get. We're gonna get. We're gonna get we're that's that's yeah. my motto Thank right you. there. Yeah, it Fuck is. Yeah. That was your yeah. job that's, on that's that. really yeah, how it is. We listen to everything. I, you know like what I'm I saying? Do, yeah. I, I, music is very universal. It and, is. And, and, and it's it a universal be, language. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, why am I going to only listen to one type of Absolutely. genre, if there is such a thing to genre, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. If, I, if, I, if I can play that, um, you know, uh, game. And it's 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 a thing where um, it, it's 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 moving. So it's if I'm moved, if I'm passionate about something, or if it's something that I'm currently going through, or somebody else is going through it, we get to express that, and in, in, in every and every you know way that we can. So I don't know to answer your question. I don't know. It's, well, it's more how of a feeling. I can kind of expound upon that yeah. about what Josh was or Boom was asking you. Yeah. Um, what would other? What would the masses label your your genre as? Uh, Jazzy, hip hop ish, uh, feel. Okay. Yeah, maybe like a jazzy hip hop ish feel. Like almost of, like um, a like Anderson Pac or like not uh, quite. Yeah, like it's, it's just different. Not quite. Not it's quite. Just different. But it's different. It's, it's more different. like that. Yeah. You that, know. You know what? You know. It's you know. It's um interesting. Is when I was a lot younger. Still, I get it now. I would wake up with poetry, uh-huh. right? Uh, so Edgar, I know you can you can piggyback off of what I'm about to say here. I would wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, right? And maybe I'll have just like the chorus or something, um, and or, or 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 what we call the hook. And I would wake up and literally just jot it jot it down because I know if I didn't do that, I would forget it, right? Mm-hmm. So half of the time it comes to um, in my dream. Or, if, or like throughout the day. Something that you visioned. Right. Yeah. And then from there, I have to jot it down, come back to it, and elaborate on it, right? Okay. And believe it or not, I hear the instruments with the lyric or the poetry that I start off with. I know Boom can relate to that. The, for you know, <laughs> I, I know the, what you're the saying. The challenging part is when you get to the studio with the yeah. music engineer and all this other Execution. stuff. Execution. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying because I got to a point in my life where I was writing yeah. the music yeah. and then I would have a melody to my yes. head but I never utilized it so I never went and used it and tried to get something out of it. Well, right. I, I can tell you for a fact right. that I... But I can write. I, music to what music is to me too is that I um, I will hear music especially like cinematic stuff like, yes. like movie scores stuff like scores. that I will hear it yes. and I will visualize something and then I have to either go write it or play <laughs> on how to shoot it Compelled. and it's it's like the same thing you were talking about yeah. it's like yeah. I, I hear the instruments now I need to execute yes. that is 1000% the hardest part yeah, yeah. yeah. You're comp- we're compelled to yeah, you know what I mean. It's just it's this thing that you can't um, explain it. You're it's it's passion. It's it's possessive. It's um, very very influential, and you just got to contribute. You know. So that's where so, the jazzy part comes from. It's yeah, it's surprising. I did hear a little Caribbean sound on your single too. <laughs> yeah, I caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So, yeah. yeah, he's he's right. He's you know, I don't care. Uh-huh. The strongest musicians on the planet uh-huh. usually come from a jazz background. It's oh, just, wow. He's a jazz drummer. It's wow. just like, it's right? just where it's, there's, a, there's a lot of technical labor yeah. behind jazz music. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He knows jazz. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very yeah. true. Yeah, he comes from a jazz drummer background. Yeah, so it's very true. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 
But but I, Bo- Boom's jazz background is what enables him to be a good DJ too, because it's the music theory. Okay. It's while just you're theory. That's the, that's like the big thing that a lot of DJs they have to learn that like as they go throughout their career. And I knew that yeah. before I jumped into it, so it just everything started making sense. Like I learned how to DJ in forty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. And then I was just kind of just off to race at that point. But like that's how the old thing. were you when it started? I didn't I didn't even like start DJing until I was right. twenty one. Okay, which is crazy because like growing up, my dad. <laughs> was a DJ in high school and stuff like that. It just never was really something that had a lot of interest towards me. I mean, it was music, so I thought it was cool. Absolutely. But then, like, 21, I have this car ride. We're going up to uh, this city in Michigan, and um, the guy the guy that was DJing that night and I were sitting there, we're having a conversation. He's like, yeah. oh, you know, you should really, like, check this out. He's like, I think it'd be a good place for you since you're all over the place all the time. I was mm-hmm. like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then I fell in love with it immediately. Yeah. It's just nice, like, controlling the room. I'm always the guy that wants to be on the phone and controlling the music yeah. and stuff like that. It's like, oh, so now I can get paid to play what I want right. all the time? <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I like it. That's 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 it, man. That's the feeling. You know? Really good. Bet, bet, bet. Edgar. What's up, man? You sent me, like, 14 fucking text messages. <laughs> yeah, you don't read them. And, uh, I'm trying to prepare you for this. So now, I don't have honestly, to come here I don't, and do this with you. I don't like to banter with you, you over text shit. messages because we do enough of it here. <laughs> I'd like man. to save the good material for now. Well, you know, I had a bunch of stuff for you and since you didn't bother. No, I read, I read them all, actually. So, <laughs> so uh, let's start with something that we've been arguing about for a while. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's, what start, we arguing let's about? talk about 6 9 6 let's, 9 Let's talk about the kid toucher. Okay, the kid toucher. That's mm. fine. It's, yeah. What, what, do we, what, what do you want to know about him? What's going on? The wit Are section. you going to his next concert? He's not going to be alive for his <laughs> next concert. There's no way. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think he's coming out early next year. From what it looks like. So for those of you that don't know, he took a hell of a deal. Yeah. Jesus. Well, Six Nine says he's he's not going to go into witness protection. He's not, and he's I, just going to hire security. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think right that's going to work. Yeah. That's not yeah. enough. That's not enough. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I don't. I mean, he says he still has money left over, but. That might go away quick. You better go to work as soon as he get out. But to pay who's, for that security. who's gonna buy his shit? I mean, there's gonna be a d- bunch well, of. Well, you know, they, they, I, I've shit. been hearing different things all over the place on YouTube. There's there's fans that say they'll still follow him, and then there's people that don't care to. You know. I mean, what what are you gonna do? Well, you know what? Just snitch. Hmm. The issue is he's still gonna make money if he if he. Can come out of this situation and he does make money is because the younger generation has kept him there. Mm. You know? Yeah. I think he was I think I would like to see like what was at stake behind behind closed doors that pushed him to actually snitch. Because I mean I like, think he was scared like, all like along. Six, nine, just like anybody else, but like I think he was scared all along. I I don't think that was him. Dude was you singing know. for months. <laughs> they did something. They did something. I, I don't think he was ever a gangster. Uh, yeah, that's a growing good up in the streets. Up. I would say that he grew up in the streets. You yeah, know, right. I mean, you do stuff, you know, petty stuff. Yeah. But it's just, but like, uh, I, I don't think he was ever a gangster. I, I think his thing was, let me use them. They're gonna use me. Yeah. Well, it's like the you two know? sides of the coin, and it's been like that for like years. And, yeah. You know. The rappers, they want to be thugs, and the thugs, right. they want to be rappers. Right. So they just right. kind of just mingle if, up. If no one's going to come out and say it, I will. He's a plant. Okay. He, he I was a, thinking was that, too. I, I was plant. thinking that, too. He was a, he was a government he was a. He's the one who sought out to be a blood and do the— and He did, yeah. The, the music, the him going viral, wow. him doing this stuff. And he's a plant. And think Not about only it. musically, but a government— he was. Well, and I'll say it. I'll be the conspiracy theorist, but I'm saying you don't get that they, big that fast. Yeah, and this I agree. happened oh, in well a chain said. reaction. Well you know why? That's you. In a chain the reaction, all of a sudden, he's the snitch against the Bloods who. Fuck yeah, let's the open end. the cookie jar. We're going yeah, in. Yeah. I, the <laughs> NYPD That's, and New York, I mean, they've wanted, <laughs> they target these inner city gangs anyway. Yeah, they it's do. It's a plan. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. was he was a plan. They yeah. was investigating He's, on these guys for a long time, way before. And he they came never in. had jack shit on him. Now right. all of a sudden they do after this kid right. mysteriously goes viral. Yeah. He, 
He's not a terrible rapper, but his music didn't fit any specific. Yeah, listen, listen, let's, let's, let's be listen. real. Who in the hip hop industry is endorsing rainbow hair with Skittles grills? Nobody. I don't nobody. think nobody. Nobody. Is nobody. Yeah. nobody. Yeah. nobody. Yeah. I don't think it's the fucking Sandhead little fourteen year olds that are out there. Still has Middle money. America. That's yeah. why he still has money left over. That's why he still has, when that all that shit should have been seized. He's right. A plant, man. He's wow. a plant. Like, that's it. Mm-hmm. And he'll probably sorry, live like, through it too. I mean, it's it's gonna be interesting. I, I tell you, I, I don't I'm know. I'm just gonna let you know. Right on paper, he's gonna live. He's gonna die. He's gonna on live, paper, he's gonna die. right now, I don't know. On paper, right now, Martha Stewart, hundred times harder than the guy. <laughs> 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 she didn't give up one no, day. No, she, she ate did her time. time and that uh, was it. Yeah. But speaking of plants, there's another one that I've been seeing <laughs> lately that's been kind of just like Lil Nas X. No, no. no I don't know about Lil no. Nas X. I think I think yeah, honestly, probably, Lil Nas yeah. X played yeah. the internet beautifully. He did. Mm, I, I think, think he Lil, played everyone. I like to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he played the internet beautifully. That dude used to run a huge, uh, an enormous Nicki Minaj uh, fan page. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which has hundreds of thousands of followers, followers on Twitter. Right. Yeah. He's a Twitter junkie. He just gets it. And like, mm-hmm. you go through Twitter and there's like people that have viral tweets, but that dude like has consistently done the viral thing uh-huh. yeah. for like a couple years. Yeah. And then just music kind of happened. And he lit, to jump at the country scene like that is genius. Yeah. It's yeah. genius. I think everything that's he did, true. his maneuvers were smooth. They that's were they were done correctly. I don't think he's a plan. I do think Billie Eilish might be one. She's them, yeah, fucking yeah. talented as fuck. I won't say anything <laughs> against that. But I don't know. She kind of comes out of nowhere. Jeremy's reluctant. He's a- she, <laughs> mm, I don't know. You want to jump into conspiracy? She has a lot of that little so MK talented. Ultra bullshit going on. Listen, bro. Uh, I'm going to... Here's why I don't think she's a plant because one of her first really big songs, not the first one, but one of the ones that followed up immediately after that, she did with Vince Staples. I think Vince Staples would recognize a plant and wouldn't work with one. He's too woke. Mm. Period. Vince Staples is so smart. He's such a, I mean, I love Vince, but I just don't think that he would jump on that. That's my take on it, but go by all means. The conspiracy theory. I love him. So yeah, but it's yeah. a credible source. I think by, with a, I think with enough money, Vince Staples doesn't care. Uh-oh. I don't know. <laughs> I See do. now, it's okay, I don't know. So now don't we got to question his integrity. Would he? I Vince would be the last one I would question his. Integrity. I wouldn't question his integrity, but take it, the money. It, it depends on how seriously he takes it. Me <laughs> too. Because I mean, she just mm-hmm. com- she kind of comes out of nowhere. The big thing that has me like on like a spooky side of the things is just like just the blatant like symbolism in a lot of her stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's yes. a lot. Of that. There's a, there's there's a, a lot. lot. That's that's yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, and she's so not noticeable. even eighteen yet, so it's like you're either putting her at being like a super genius level with all this cryptic shit, yeah. or somebody else is feeding the pipeline. I yeah. think the. Same thing applies to her symbolism, her visuals, her performances. That applies to her music. Is she has an exceptional team of people around her. Yeah, they, smart individuals. Her brother helps yeah. her write her music. Yeah, she's got the right producer. She has an exceptional group of people around her that really help her. And I think she's the first one to admit that. So it's like, I I don't know. I mean, you could be right, but it's hard for me to see Billie Eilish's plan. Just Illuminati, just <laughs> <laughs> right in there, man. No, I'm not saying oh, yeah. it's fact. Yeah, I'm saying it's possible. Yeah, I mean, we could see where you know when it's really shoved down your throat. Mm. It's like every video. It's like, come on, and you get these YouTube people. You know, we know them. They're great at really depicting these things. Yes, and when you just take a little time to just dabble into that, you know, conspiracy if we want to call it whatever. Man, well, there's a person that us three know, and he says it all the time. It's not what you say; it's how you say it. Mm. So it's if you if you say something in a certain way. That's why some of these YouTube videos are so like you know your zeitgeists and stuff like that are so catchy, and they they literally they will they will you will intake that information uh, differently because of how it's said and because of how it's told. So it's, you know, it's very, it could be clever editing. It could be clever. I mean, it's just marketable. Correct. It's it's, what really like mm -hmm. sparked me to actually like jump into it and actually kind of dig a little bit was, I don't know. I know you guys don't know who Squanto is, but he's like a bigger like DJ in the rhythm scene. Right. Like he's pretty big. He's the dude I showed you that does all the crazy fucking chop crossfader shit. Okay. Okay. Right. That dude flat out on Twitter said last week, he's like, and if you're too stupid to realize Billie Eilish plant. Wow. <laughs> I was like, 
Whoa. <laughs> Scorching hot take. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like all Twitter tweets, I just went through the thread. And I just started reading, clicking links, and eventually I was like, that's enough internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, am I a plant? That's <laughs> 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 crazy. Oh, man. End of the day, she makes good music. I want to hear more music from her. Yeah, what's up with this? Yeah. this the, the chick. The two vaginas. <laughs> Jumping right in. I, it's yeah. been in the back of my head since he brought it up. Yeah. And I just want to get it out well, of there. I didn't I finish reading the whole story. But what I got out of it is that this young lady was born with two vaginas. <laughs> I mean, I think yeah. she... Now I have questions. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. There we go. One. The same father, because it could be possible that it's not. It's the, I think it was the same father. Yes. How, she was born with two vaginas. Did they come out, both of them? Yeah, she had two holes, man. But did they come out like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how she was born. So, like, when two. you put your thumb over the hose and it shoots both ways? No, it wasn't shooting both ways, man. Like, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I can't wait to oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it took me a minute. Sorry. Um, no, man, but... So, but, the New Age Limited... Tackling the tough topics as always. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> well, so do two doctors deliver? Like, how does this work? Well, no, 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 no. it's still I, one person, bro. It's still yeah, one, one person with two vaginas. Did, what happens if two come out at the same time? Then that's pretty Think, neat because they come out faster. Yeah, like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. No, she had gotten an operation and was able to have four kids. That's so crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I think I have this article. Oh, and I need to see some stuff on this. Damn, she's 34, too? Yeah. Young. She's had four kids. One in every 3,000 women is born wow. with a double uterus. Isn't that crazy? What? So that's more than... Is that defined as deformity? Is it? Def I would say so. I mean, you know... Yeah, yeah. she getting like... Disability or something? What yeah. What's going on <laughs> She's here? Like I mean, are you just <laughs> or are you just super? I can't wait. Oh, she had C-section. Complications. I mean, obviously, she, she had four kids. Yeah, she had four kids. She had C-sections. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah, because they had to, like, you know, operate and make it into yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. So, I'm just going to keep pushing. <laughs> yeah, dude. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, what's your question? And do they both, like, work work? I don't know if they work work. <laughs> I think they asked her on the interview. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They said, uh, no. <laughs> That's why she got an operation. She had to get an operation. She had that option to choose which hole. Wow. That's so fair. we're talking about, okay. Which I one was removed? Yeah. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, the marvels of modern medicine. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. What other so I mean, like, not, surgery well, and... that, I mean, if, they, if they're, if, if, Hypothetically, if both of them were, it could have been a very great situation. <laughs> Jesus. You just, well, like, you, you, you just you let can one. You can satisfy her. Yeah, you just let one take a break for a while. And, and then, then you, you go on the next the one. Other one. And then when that one's done, you go right back to the other one and get that That's one a break. And you just That's it. Go all day. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if hormonally, if there was obviously any issues with having to, you know. <laughs> was she crazy or <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, possibly, like but double like, the amount of crazy. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. She, but she had to. How? It's... Realistically, she probably had some ridiculous periods. Yeah. Right. Did she like, get I'm not even exercise? talking like on a gross level, but like, I can't even imagine like the right. type of pain that probably right. comes in. That's yeah, overwhelming. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. Also, at the same time, she must yeah. have been a. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she's married? Is she married? Uh, she's married. She's got four kids. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. Awesome. Husband can only testify to that, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but, yeah. Is she from Florida? I that don't would know. Make sense. That was in, in the New York Post. So, uh, no, dude, I think she probably swam in the North. Grand River. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Guarantee she swam in the Grand River. 100%. Mm -hmm. Grand River's from back home, basically radioactive. Oh, yeah, really? Much. There's like fish with three eyes and stuff. It's a real oh, well, thing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I've had a few gas spills in it. You know, yep. It's no big deal. It's a few. I've jumped in a couple Once every times. five years, they tell lot, you you can't but... smoke by it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not kidding. What else we got? <laughs> Oh, are well you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Edgar texted me. So you still like Drake, huh? I love Drake, bro. You, you and see, I saw Don, Don C's wife, and I was like, man, you like I get people, it. You like people to break <laughs> families, then. Huh? You like people to break families, then. 
So mm. what happened? What happened? What happened? He oh, sent a private be... message. We don't even know what the message says. So he was, he was sliding in the DMs. He slid in the DMs. His wife. He slid in the DMs. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that sounds like Drake. Yeah. I can't say I'm surprised. Nope. No. No. He, right. he, he just hit her with the, you know I could treat you better, right? Yes. <laughs> he got busted. He got busted. <laughs> he got busted. <laughs> he got his shit vandalized. Now, now did you follow up on his story? Is he, is he like hiding from whoever? Drake ain't hiding from nobody. He's on his fucking jet somewhere. <laughs> he's oh, he's the, flying. He ain't hiding. Yeah. He's in the air. He, he's right. in, he's, he's, me. No, he's in Rio playing Brazil's biggest festival. He oh, has better really? things to do. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's in Rio right now. That's why he wasn't at home when his he, shit got vandalized. He don't oh, give a fuck. Man, they told him to leave. His shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. He man. doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. He's got insurance. Yeah, even if he didn't, he doesn't care. I'm I'm pretty sure Drake killed fucking uh, Triple X. Here we go with that conspiracy theory. Bro, he said it know. in the record, bro. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Nope. He said it in the record. Drake's thug, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know no, you're still so. not standing with Drake. Nope. Like, no. Not, a fan. Not even a little bit. No, Drake's Drake's. Yeah. Um, yeah. never been a fan. It was just like. No, nah, I never liked this music. I thought oh, it was oh, sound okay. too much like Little Wayne. He doesn't have. And a I like Little Wayne. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, that's gotcha. why. Definitely. It's like when when uh, when they came out a with lot of Wayne influence. when they came out with Shine when when uh, mm. Bad Boy came out with Shine. I thought he sounded like Biggie. I wasn't a big fan of Shine. Fan of him. Okay. You know. Gotcha. 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 You sound like somebody else. Yeah. Then it's yeah. yeah I hear you. Like different because I I know like different sound right. Well, like, in fairness yeah. to Drake, he uh, does sing a lot more than Wayne ever did. So Wayne still has way better rhymes more, than him. He can beat I, him in the battle. I, I think mean, Wayne yeah. is Wayne's too talented for Drake. So I don't know. I about wouldn't. That. I wouldn't go that I will, far. I will, I, that's I, ridiculous. The issue that I'm not a huge Drake fan, but the issue that I have with Drake is that I know he's super talented, and that I feel like he mails it in sometimes. I, I, I can't discredit that at all. Yeah, he's definitely talented, super talented. Absolutely. Hard to say which one is most talented. You know what I mean? I think, uh, uh, um, can we? Is it fair? Can we say yeah. maybe? We could say we can maybe argue lyrically. Lyrically, I like Wayne better. You know, absolutely. Well, we can't ask you because every better. single one you're gonna say Wayne. Well, Wayne, Wayne is yeah. very opinionated. Wayne changed hip hop and, ha- and rappers' approach to lyricism. Things revolutionized. Yeah, exactly. Things revolutionized. Yeah. Correct. Uh, the super clever punchlines. The I mean, that was uh, punchlines have always been a thing in hip hop. Right. But it's like but he, he was really quick with changed it. I mean, the he, game. His bars on, is, on how that. Is so phenomenal. if you're gonna argue one against the other, I don't think you're gonna get a clear winner in that discussion either. In it's lyricism. hard. I'm just saying it's hard. It's but hard. I think I think Wayne's Wayne's run that he had. Okay. Wayne's run that he had what may be one of the biggest ever. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I agree with that. Run, he was right. on top of the world for years. Yes. Yeah, he was. Um, I mean, you're talking, I mean, I mean Carter the 90s, two man. and yeah. up until yeah. 2013. It's it's yeah. We were talking about him the other day. He's the, he's the youngest, oldest rapper. One of the youngest. Yeah, Wayne's only thirty six. Man, that's it. What? Yeah, I really thought he was a little older than. He that. was like fifteen or sixteen when he came out. Thirty six wow. years old. I though. think when it's all said and done, Drake's gonna have probably the craziest run ever. Okay, and long. Okay, because that dude's already been going Wayne's hard been seen, for like yes. ten years. He's had yes. number ones yes. for ten years straight. It's such a different time, though, too, for both of them when they Absolutely. started. And how well, there's no question that Drake too, wouldn't be where yeah. he's at without Wayne. Yeah. Well, Take like, Care came that, out in 2011, ooh, so 10, it hasn't, hasn't. Well, okay, so it hasn't been ten years. He and, had a big single before Take but Care, but it was not a number one, like you said. Mm, it might be. No, nope, it was not. You're never going to get a number one back in 2009 uh, or prior without a label, and he was not on a label. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Um, Take Care was his first label drop project, I mm-hmm. believe, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. So, um, not discrediting his success, but I don't, he, he, he's been big, but he, My bad, my bad. So far gone was top five. I mean, Jesus. Oh, oh yeah, he looked at that. That's still an insane run. I, yeah. I, That's don't 10 do, years. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm just saying that the level of the, the, the level on the the disparity between Wayne and anybody else yeah, yeah, yeah. was so large that I don't think that Drake has experienced that. Mm. That large of a gap. You, th- of, you of a think you'll reach gap. Jay-Z's numbers? 
Well, okay. Numbers are different now. You can't compare them. Okay. Uh, that's, gonna get that's, odd. That, that's very true because… Streaming world makes it a lot different. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Dispensationally, yeah. right. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're in, in this correct. time uh, yeah. of Absolutely. streaming. So that's… And, and he's such a businessman, Jay-Z. So if he would have to make those executions of deals and, to even… I don't think he and he does. I mean, obviously, 444 was… Very successful. Yeah, it was a good more album. than music. It's you know. So I, I think I'm never I think he gets in the studio. I think he comes... gets in the studio for fun, and that's it. Gotcha. There you go. I got an album. Gotcha. Put it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buy more, more wine companies and more that's, art. That's probably right. where he goes to relieve stress. I mean, he's got so Absolutely. much other shit. Yeah, that he's I would going say. On. I would say that's. You correct. don't really expect a J album. They irrelevant. He just kind of just gives. He's got to go through right. something. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of true. Yeah. Yeah, because the last one was he had some heat with his wife. Yeah. A little bit. They yeah. capitalized on it, though. They did. They? they made a lot of money. <laughs> That's true. They, they sure are did. smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I think the disparity gap that Wayne had at the time. It was, I mean, because M had already finished his run. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. So M oof. wasn't really as much in the conversation as he would have been if, say, Wayne had that run in 2000. I'm not a, I'm not a huge M fan. That's documented. I like M, I'm not man. a huge M, M fan. A That's good, the best three run. album run ever, though. Okay. Yes. Yeah, good in my run. opinion. And you respect, but you respect his hustle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I and, respect and his hustle. It's like, yeah. lyrically, though, let's talk about, all right, let's get into M. Let's get into M a little bit. <laughs> all right. Man. Let's get into because, it. Because, okay, you're saying that his run, right, mm-hmm. ended, what, how long ago? Wayne? Can we say? Or M. Oh, M, M. M's yeah, original 2000. run, 2004, probably. Wow, really? I feel like it was maybe longer. M- okay. M- Eminem okay. show would have been the end of that three album run. Okay. In, in my opinion, that I'm yeah, telling. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. He's obviously had... <laughs> huge Wait. amounts of success since then. I don't want to discredit yeah, that. Yeah, either. yeah, yeah. But that original yeah. three album run where you have Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady, or Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, and then you had Eminem show. Those were the three. Okay, with they were, were being were album a year genre. before me, so I know you remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it was like it, it, it was nobody touched that. Yeah. And I don't think there's ever been a run that big. Yeah. Or that large. Um, as far as, but I think Wayne. At the gap at the time, because there was other artists at the time, like your Jay Z's and stuff like that, that were in the conversation with M. Yeah. Um, yeah. But M's three album run will never, 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 be, never be beaten, in my they, opinion. They all went diamond, right? The, yes. And the, but the closest, the closest album run like that that I would say would be Kanye. And Kanye had a good Ooh, run too. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. he, had, he had four in a row where he was untouchable. Mm-hmm. And th- those are the two. That, but Wayne, as far as his run, his the length. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, he made being a feature artist super respectable. Yeah. It's something that is considered in the top rapper conversation. That wasn't a thing before. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. Wayne just feature after feature after feature after feature. I mean, it was one after another. And it was, it was like... I mean, it was like him and Akon that were on everything yes. <laughs> for for years, and it was like Jesus, man. These you, we can't, yeah. you can't hear enough of these guys. I miss yeah. Akon. 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 Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. it was great. He's out there saving the world, though. He's out but, there yeah, making but, money, man. But let's, He's got but, power companies. He's but let's dive more into M. I mean, yeah, what, what, because what? M. When you look at, I mean, he broke records, obviously. Of course, you know, he broke records. Um, you know, even when people didn't want to give him the credit that was, you of know, course. that was due. And, um, okay, if you're talking about album-wise, I see that. Mm-hmm. I, I could see that. But business? Um, business-wise. He made a lot of money. Yeah, concerts, sold them out all. I mean, much. it's top-notch. Um, he has this way, though, you know, his writing. Um, 50 Cent mentions it many, many times. Of course. Don't mess with him. Yep. Yeah, game, he gets I, at you. He gets at anybody that Real says quick. it. And I because believe, I believe uh, Game was on record saying that oh, as well. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Because Don't mess with the crazy white dudes. This yep. yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And coming from game, a guy who's beefed with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Respects him. Right. That, yeah. that, that, that statement carries more weight. Yeah. Coming yeah. from game. Yeah, because they see that, you know, um, I'm paraphrasing from what 50 Cent said, but mm-hmm. it was hard from, you know, it, it, was, it was very hard for the black community to accept them. To accept. That's true. Because, that yeah. he was this person, right, that is doing such a phenomenal job, but he's not getting the credit mm-hmm. that he deserves. So it was very hard to accept. But And, and because, and I, I think he says this too, because of M, 
brought in sales. Anybody that does a song with him, of course, brings in just this total amount of success. Well, an Eminem feature is going to get you a lot of a lot of clicks. So it, yeah. Well, it's, see, now yeah. I think it's the opposite. I mean, it's still going to get you the clicks, mm-hmm. but like I feel M's in a bubble. Protecting him based off of how his early part of his career was. There's oh, okay. There's no question. This is the mm-hmm. only real knock that I can throw against M besides his last few, his last 10 years, his last eh, better part of 10 years. Yeah. Not 10 years, but his last few projects, I'll say. Um, he's been sheltered. Mm hmm. And I think it comes from exactly what you just said. <laughs> People didn't want to give him the credit. Yeah. So they when, no, when Dre yeah. brings him in, puts right. him on, right. he gets all this success. Yeah. He has a manager like Paul Rosenberg yeah, who knows his shit. And he has a manager like him who yeah. says, okay, we're going to shelter him. We're going to put him in this bubble. We're going to protect our yeah, and investment. investments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think he has been. I think I think that he's it's been a lot more calculated with M than especially in the new age, uh, the, more the so funny than thing new is, age hip hop acts. Yeah. He's been much more calculated. The, the funny calc- thing is when you know when videos were big out there, I don't know if they really are. I don't Back know. when MTV used to be MTV. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Before the reality shows, oh uh, man, he hit. He he had a number one video. That Slim Shady was like number one for weeks, oh, weeks, weeks, yeah. weeks, 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 weeks. Well, yeah. So yeah, he surprised a lot of people, and and hey man, he he held his ground there and made it through. Yeah, I mean, I I, had, I think he's he's pretty successful and yes, talented. Yes, you know? yes, because I, we all know here that no one is going to stay on top forever. No, right? right. Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. time it's limit. A Ten year run. You know, I mean, it is a time limit. It's hard to yeah. predict when. So the ideal is, if and when you get there, notice and reign. Yeah, just make it, you know, for sure. So, yeah, so what it comes down to, like you said, he's successful. I think that's another way. What did he take away from that? I think that's another way that Wayne changed the game is that he understood he was on top. Yeah. He not only released his own projects, but he capitalized by doing so many features. (laughs) Features. He was so smart. Because he, 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 he knocked on. You know, uh, topics, subject matters that people definitely did not want to talk about. Of course. And he put himself there to take the heat. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I mean, he... I think what makes heat. Wayne super crazy is, like, that's the first rapper that I ever remember yes. where people would anticipate his mixtapes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Like, not the first yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not the first ever, but really he, was, he was one of... The, he did mixtapes yeah. after he, he got big. Most of the mixtape, I mean, you've obviously got your, like, your most deaf. Oh, and Common, yeah, yeah, yeah. And guys like that who were yeah, mixed, who Jones. did a lot of mixtapes. Joe Budden did a lot of mixtapes. You did a lot of, you had a lot of anticipated mixtape artists, but they weren't number one artists at the time. Uh-huh. And that's what Wayne just wanted to do music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he did so much of it. Always wanted to. Be a rapper. Said that in school. I think it was middle school. When did he drop out of high school? I think it was high school. I don't think he made it past high school. Yeah, so he was like, I know what I wanted to be from the get-go. Mm-hmm. And like you said, like 16 he started, whatever. I mean, we're or at least when 14. he broke in. 14. Yeah, when did his first album come out? That's young. Uh, his first hit was 99. That wasn't his first. I don't think it was his first album, but his That's first so hit crazy. was 99. So he, he was like 15. Yeah. Yes. Wow. You knew what he wanted. Well, and again, back to that, it too, Wayne is 36, to put that into perspective to mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Um, J. Cole is 34. Word. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's insane yeah. when you really think about it. Think that. about it that way. Everybody's walk is so different. Of course, we know that. But yeah, that's when you think about it like that. Yep. It's... But J. Cole also wasn't signed at 14 either. He no. Did, he went to college. Yeah. He got well, educated. Yeah. He did. He took that path. Like you said, everyone's walk is different. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I still think you should respect Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respect him. No. Numbers don't lie, bro. Uh, That's all I'm saying. If, if, there's, if there's anybody I'm putting on a record at this moment in time right now that I think I can guarantee a number one hit with there's three people it's Justin yeah. Bieber Ed Sheeran Drake oh you said Ed yes yep. definitely Ed well you've got yeah. three hybrids there yeah people that will do any type of music yeah mm-hmm. I don't think mm-hmm. I think that of the three I think Justin Bieber is the most in his own lane but 
that dude's untouchable. But he can, he, I think he would do anything that, as long as the music was there. He hasn't done an album in what, two, three years? It's been a while. Who cares? Mm. He's still got number one hits out there. Yeah. <laughs> that one he just did with uh, Billy Ed Sheeran. Billy Eilish. And he did the remix of Bad Guy. Jesus. I love the remixes when they do it right. <laughs> it's such a lost art these days. Uh, like it's it's you get a lot of remixes, but they don't go mm-hmm. mainstream anymore. Yeah, yeah. Whereas remixes, yeah. I can think of like a ton of remixes that I liked better than the original. Touch well, that's the point. Yeah, Touch yeah, yeah, you go that's into why I make a remix. remix. Right. Yeah. You want to make it sound better than the original. Right. Yeah. And get people. And hyped now about it's it. almost like looked down upon, like it's a form of disrespect in a way. And I'm like, yeah. fuck that. We used to look forward for remixes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. Yeah, scenario, and then the scenario too. Right. 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 Bust the rhymes. And because now, to do it again. I mean, shit, in my opinion, the remix lane is completely different now. Uh-huh. The remix lane used to be, it was oh. like, it was very, very much artist, 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 artist. Now that remix lane is like, okay, we're going to do a remix, but guess what? We're going to toss it to a few different producers and let them put their their spin on it. Yes. You know? Very, very good point there. Very true there. And also, um, I think Timberland started this first, and then you can definitely hear it in Kendrick Lamar's beat, where it's like, you start off with the original, and it's like, it's featured... Like they, it's like it's in a here's a single, but like towards the end of the track, or at least when you think it's going to end, it's not ending. Mm -hmm. They come up with this new instrumental, you know, sound, but still using the chords and the progressions of what the original single is. It's like a remix into one. Timbaland started that in two thousand. Yes, maybe before Timbaland started that man. Timbaland and other people that top three. Producer, I would say, yeah, so. I would say so. Ever, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm extremely biased. Swizz toward is none. Swizz is one. Swizz is one. Oh, Swizz, 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 Swizz is, is one. Amazing. Yeah, Swizz we, is one. I'm, I'm very biased toward that, but toward Swizz, just because I prefer the East Coast sound. I do, <laughs> I do a little bit of everything, but yeah. it's, um, and I, then I would say you I'm, definitely have your Timlin, but I'm putting Pharrell number two, and okay. I'm putting Pharrell three. So I All guess right. that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they came up with that man. That 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 it's not over, so, you know, yet really. And they continue to make yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. But stop. now the remixes are just in a completely different lane. Because yeah. now you have yeah. you have genres that are just molding so much more. It it's is, it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of uh, shared audiences. Like that's the new marketing and like tactic is how can we get this audience to be shared with this audience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then they'll bring in like prime it's example, Elenium. He did he remixed Halsey, and then at one point Halsey's without me track was number one on iTunes. Mm-hmm. It was number Two on iTunes, the clean version, and then number five on iTunes, the Illenium remix. All at the same time. Wow. That's ridiculous. Yes. Hmm. But it's smart. It's a Again, lot of reach. Especially in an era where we don't know what a stream is actually worth. And these companies, these streaming yeah. companies like Apple are just basically throwing money in its pocket change. Mm-hmm. It's chump change. Yeah. And they're just paying these people off. Oh, here you go. Look how much money you made. Yeah. That's nothing. Yeah. And if no one will give us a definitive answer on what a stream is worth, whether it be YouTube, whether it be yeah, because they're all different. iTunes, Spotify. Mm-hmm. It doesn't yep. matter. So we have a situation where streaming companies have taken over what labels used to. Yes, be. yes, and the labels know that. Yes, very well. <laughs> Sign up for DistroKid for forty dollars a year or a month, and you can get on all these platforms, and yeah. we'll throw money at you if yeah. you go viral. Yeah, we'll but what is it worth? Nobody. We'll answer that. That's crazy. That's and what's crazy, crazy is like if you try to avoid the whole distro kid thing mm-hmm. and like you try to just be like, no, I'm not going to use because they're they're labeled as distributors. Like right, you have, right. You have them, CD, oh, yeah. maybe, of you have all of them. Yeah. If you try to go around it, like Jeremy and I originally tried to did when we first started everything, right. is we had we had the LLC, we had the tax IDs, we had everything. It was right. like we we can do this ourselves. Right. We can we can do this ourselves. So we tried to do that. Now all of a sudden you have like a fucking fifteen page doctrine that you have to uh-huh. fill out. You have to submit it to them, and then they choose whether or not they want to. And most of them won't even do it right out of the gate unless you have a minimum of five people under your label. Oh my God. It's fucked. So they're making it more and more, yeah. So whatever a stream is worth, mm-hmm. whatever they're paying you, all artists out there, yeah. it's highway robbery. It doesn't matter what you're getting paid. You're getting fucking robbed. 
I mean, we know when we make music. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. You know, and there's nothing you anybody's make your money going yeah, to because, be able to do. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Make your money on shows and merch. Independent artists, you know. We okay. We start off in. I mean, we have that a lot more, more that are shying away, obviously, from labels because there's pros and cons. I can honestly say, of course, with both. But yeah, we always we know that. It's like, <laughs> it's like right. we, we're gonna is, get the shit in of the deal because the producer <laughs> always gets more. Yeah, of course. The artist gets what? Yeah, there it's is the other side 10%. of the. Yeah. There's the other side of the coin too, which I think those distributors and stuff like that, they give you, they give artists a great opportunity to say, you know, hey, you you still have a shot <laughs> even if you're not backed by a label. Because before you couldn't get anywhere without a label. Right. Absolutely. Right. Now Absolutely. you just got to go viral or you just That's actually yeah. be good, get your music in front of people. What's the day, the age old thing that they say in the industry forever? It just takes one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With uh, apparently TikTok now. TikTok thing, say, yeah, 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 yeah. What the heck? I'm like, yeah. I didn't even know TikTok was even that cool of a thing. Because I was like, ah, I can't take that too seriously. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Uh, but apparently, there's a lot working. of cringeworthy stuff on there, but there's also TikTok. a lot of good stuff on there, too. I've, yeah. been, I've been recently so I'm like, Gosh, like I diving in there that. trying to figure Dude, I feel old for the first time ever. Like, I'm going in this, I'm like, what the fuck is this? TikTok, How does this man? work? And right. There's, there's kids that yes. use this, and I'm just like, yes. ah! I just, I just don't know how to do it. Yeah. But I figured it out, so we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 is it, that's how, um, what's the name? The Cowboy Boogie. Forgive me. Oh. Lil Nas. Lil Nas. Oh, okay. Lil Nas yeah, X. Lil Nas. He took off on TikTok. With TikTok. Yeah, yeah TikTok. That's so what did it. And it wasn't song. even him. What do you His mean? song got oh. on TikTok. And then, like, a bunch of people started redoing the TikTok, and his song just went on. See what I'm that's saying? That's what made his song And it's long. the most— no, that's what every artist wants. And it is the most successful single of all time. It is, yeah. Of all time. Of, oh, of all, all time. time. All yeah. time. The most successful song of all time. Something that uh, he put on TikTok, one of these bigger, quote-unquote, right. bigger creators right. on TikTok found— that's crazy. Wow. And they started remixing it and doing their little dance story or whatever they were doing. Yeah, yeah. And, and now you have yep. the most successful song of all time. I mean, and you know what? It couldn't have happened to a better person. I fucking love that guy. I love yeah. it. Yeah, he put in his work. I love it. He yeah. put in his work. Yeah. And you know what? He's so happy to be where he's at. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see he's yes. enjoying it. He's yes. spreading yeah. a positive yeah. message. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he is. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Yeah. I'm happy that Absolutely. Rambo featured his... Song. Yeah, and dude. All the time, I like, the trailer oh, just has that yeah. crazy version of it. I, I heard that. I was just like, "Oh shit, hold on." <laughs> this, I know he's hype. That <laughs> sure. is a white That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. something that it, I'm sure he's happy about it. Yeah. I mean, all I know is in that movie, somebody's gonna get killed. The old town road. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. In the background. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. That was dope. I got hyped when I saw that. I was like. Okay, first of all, I was hyped, first of all, because like, oh, we got Rambo coming back. Right, yeah. Italian, yeah, right. all right. <laughs> and then I, I'm hearing the song in the background, I was like, no way. Who is your most influential artist? Right now? Honestly? Ever. Oh, ever. Oh, ever? ever? That's, ever. A, sh- Who that's is, a shitty question. That, that is not hard. The most influential artist. Because, obviously, like I said, growing up, it was MJ. You know? Of course. MJ, MJ, MJ. Um... You know, I mean, I, I was touched by a lot of artists, you know, to, to Phil Collins, um, you know, Motown artists. Um, you can tell him he's a piece of shit. And <laughs> I, it's a I can say, I can that's say, a tough one. It's, that's a tough one. I could say <laughs> right now, I mean, and I say right now, but really it's for the longest time, um, Coldplay. I honestly like Coldplay wow. a lot. Love Coldplay. You know what I mean? The writing of Coldplay, man. It's, 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 I don't know what it is. It's just, it, it, it took off for me. Uh, I think it was like maybe my freshman or sophomore year in college. It's just, it, it, I, I just, yeah. Well, I gravitated you're a year me. older than me, right? So you graduated, what, 07 or 06? Oh, well, from high school, 06. 06, so yeah, I was 07. Coldplay was pretty fucking big before <laughs> freshman year in college, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I mean. But that's but what you said. you. What was your question that he said? He said all time. 
that's what I said. That's a piece that's of shit. A tough I'm mad because okay, I don't have I don't have it. Let it come back to me. Who, 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 <laughs> is, who is the most influential? Every every creator has that those formative years. Those years where you uh, where you really just were like, I can I can fucking do this. Who was the one that introduced that influenced you most in those years? Like I can pinpoint my years, obviously. Right, what, you, what, do you, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like in those formative years that you have as a creator, like, oh, like, like creator. who gave that's you the, that's who that's gave you the spark, or oh, yes. like oh, yes. okay, who influenced then. you the most during those years? Oh, not, maybe okay, not then. of all time, but during those. Okay, years. Okay, then a- MJ for me. Then. MJ, okay, that's simple answer for me. Then it's that I have two. Yeah. I have two. It was right around the same time, so I guess that's fair. Um, Rush. Okay. Most more specifically, Neil Peart. Um, just like he's a drummer, but he also writes everything. Yeah. And before that, I just thought like everybody just put the drummer in the back, and it was just that. But he was just <laughs> doing all the music, everything, writing everything around, and creating these environments, creating all this art, making like the drummer not just the heartbeat of everything, but a very important part of the writing process. Yeah. That was cool to me. And then Thirty Seconds to Mars. Second, second, I saw them live the first time. I was like, I want to do that forever. Wow. I was at that show. Yeah. <laughs> it was a hell of a show. Who's yours? Mine? As uh, somebody who does films and stuff and music videos and uh, just video work in general, mine's Michael Mann. Okay. Michael yeah. Mann. Heat. Okay. Collateral. Inside, yeah. uh, the Insider. Um, See, if you talk about film, I could, I, I could tell you many, but yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who would you say for film? Okay, we're talking about Steven Spielberg. We're Spielberg, talking about of uh, James Cameron. Um, mm-hmm. um, um, about so Mike Wolf. Yes, yes, yes. Very talented. And I, heck, I'll even say even documentary style Michael Moore. I'll dare to say that name, even though yeah, we know well, a Michael, lot of people feel Michael Moore that that is a fantastic filmmaker whether you like him or him. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah he knows um, how to strike every yes. single nerve he yes. knows how to push every single button and he knows how to construct a film yeah um yeah so whether you love him or hate him he does know how to do that yeah um but he just kind of i feel like he just kind of became everything he hated uh, and he just kind of sold out that's the scary part he just kind of sold it. out a little bit yeah that's the scary part of it. Film's always an interesting one because, He's like, your choice in film control. is based off of what perspective you're looking at yeah. in the film. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. cool. Because for me, it's it's Thomas Newman. Like, yeah. Oh, listen, love, that's the score. Yeah, 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 listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah. American Beauty is. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God! How did I forget? Yes. Yeah. Him and Cliff listen. Ansel. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's go to him, man. Listen, okay. I'm talking about Thomas Newman in the movie. Meet Joe Black. The, the score. It's, let his, alone it's his super it's iconic, beautiful. super simplistic piano work. That gets me. It's just like, it's just there. I would and s- there's like nothing else going on for yeah. a bit. It, yeah. Like it just takes yeah. He yeah. lets. Yeah. Like Skyfall, the newer movie. <laughs> where he did, when he did uh, yes. James Bond. Like, <laughs> yes. Well, Amazing. Yes. Um, as far as like movie scores go, I can name a few. Um, I really, really, really like Max Richter. Um, mm-hmm. Max Richter is Max Richter is crazy. Just a phenomenal instrumentalist. Not to mention just yeah. the fact that he can make it all cinematic. Yeah. But I mean, Max Richter is definitely up there. I do love, of course, Thomas Newman. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it just depends on what type of mood you want. It's true. Like I'm also. I, mean, yeah. I liked Johan Johansson a lot before he died. Um, unfortunate. Uh, his unfortunate death, but he was, he was great too. So, um, but those are the guys that I can just, I mean, I've yeah. seen over 1700 movies. So I, I, and like none of those are even like coming close to Hans Zimmer and anything okay. ever. Yeah. It's just like, it's like we just don't name. bring him up. Cause you that's gotta, just assumed, <laughs> no, yeah. you know, it's like, if you like, do you oh, like, no. Oh, what's he done? Have you seen any movie ever? He's the music. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Gotta, That's very you, gotta, true. you gotta mention. Have you comments. seen any blockbusters ever? Yeah. 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 Okay. Did the know. movie was the movie the <laughs> yeah. biggest movie of the year? He probably did the music. Most likely. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. I I I considered even just what does it take, you know, to be you know composing, 
you know, such a thing. I, I there was a time that I really thought I was well. Go boom to had a that. boom had a very stiff learning curve on that day <laughs> because he did a, like, he did the score to a short film that we did. We did a <sighs> Rainbow Six fan film. Okay, um, I'll tell you what. And he had a very stiff learning curve to that where he was like, okay, I can do this, and then I just. The problem is, is that I just keep running with my ideas because yeah. that's what I'm used to doing. And instead of, you know, really just kind of composing around what's there. And it was like, it, but it was ultimately a pretty fun experience. For me, for um, yeah, it was definitely a lot harder than what I bargained for. But <laughs> I will say, like, because I've, I've studied a couple composers on how they do it. Like, there's yeah. guys that, like, more specifically, like, TV composers, like, they're actually doing it on the fly while they watch the show. Oh, and yes. Yes. There's like Mark Snow. The way that I like to do it, which I've seen a few different composers do as well, is like they'll just go off and make music. Like, this is the movie. This is what the movie's going to be about. This is the tone. Go make music. And then you come back into the film afterwards and you start to make your music. Depends film. on the director you work with. Martin Scorsese. Well said. Martin Scorsese well said. does that a lot, where mm-hmm. he will actually shoot a movie around uh, your basic ideas for a score mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. music. Even saw he uses a lot like in The Departed. He used the Dropkick Murphys in that. Um, he loves to use uh, music to build a film around. He said yeah. music makes the film. Yes, and that's that's yes. something that is. So it really depends on the director you work with. Yes, that would be cinematography. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang, we're already at an hour. I'm telling you, are we doing good? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to jump through one topic and then we'll get to some music here. A couple things that I that I uh, saw today that surprised me. Adele's dating Skepta. I don't know if you know who Skepta is. I have no clue. No, I got to see a photo. Skepta is a huge uh, British artist. British rapper. Okay. British rapper. He's okay. actually been uh, featured on a Drake record. Yep. So, okay. yeah. Okay. That's right. Huge. I know what you're talking huge. about. But is like More Adele. Life? Yeah, More Life. More that life. album. Yep. And uh, when she cheers to more life, that's that's a bit, it's a it's a rough it's a rough uh, part of my life. Hey, we'll skip that for now. <laughs> I, that was dating. All right. I, no, I used to just say cheers to more life and then black yeah. out in the club. <laughs> 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 but yeah, skip that. That's a real that could potentially. I would if <clears throat> if they stay together for any sort yeah, of time. Can we get some dope music out of that. I know, right? right? Cool. <laughs> okay. Let Adele spit. <laughs> oh shoot! I know she could do it. I love Adele, and I guarantee people will listen. Oh yeah! A couple absolutely. trailers came out. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is taking the lead in a new Michael Bay film called Six Underground. It's a Netflix original. Okay, um, that looks really good. It's like underground racing, kind of Fast and the Furious type of. So vibe. Michael oh, Bay, yes. Michael Bay is not going to have a leash. No, because he's doing a Netflix film, and that's why a lot of these directors like to go to Netflix, like your David Ventures and stuff, because they don't have the studio doesn't have really yes. any control. Uh, uh, so giving Michael Bay no control is either going to be very cool or very fucking he's bad. Blow up a yeah. fucking city. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be yeah, listed yeah, to terrorists like to at the end of it because he's going to blow up an entire city. <laughs> a lot of rebuilding done with, with this guy. Yeah. Uh, a Birds of Prey trailer was released. As that well. is hot. Margot <laughs> Robbie, bro. You remember the Fox version? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Do you see any of those? No. Do you know what Birds of Prey is? I have no idea. Uh, so like Suicide Squad and stuff, like just okay. the females of it. Okay. It's like a dark DC stuff. Sad. Which honestly, that's... DC has just dropped the fucking ball on so many films and it hurts so much because I'm a huge oh, DC guy. I but am too. I, I think if you they just, have Marvel. Just, just, <laughs> Marvel fan. Just, stay, just stay to the dark stuff and I think uh, DC is fine. Like yeah. the second it becomes a, a competition with Marvel, they're going to lose every time. They don't even have like, close to the <laughs> it up. I like Marvel better than DC. I, they have a bigger universe. That's the New York in you right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm emotionally invested in Tobey Maguire. Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. First comic I ever read was Daredevil, so that's me Word. right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm Superman junkie forever. forever oh, yeah, forever, man. Forever. Man, listen. Oh, if, 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 listen, you got to check my Instagram feed right now. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Tom Willing is coming back. For the third. They're not going to reboot it. Sony and... Beautiful. See, I think that was all just like... They were like, let's make this a big deal. You know, let's say we're just never going to do anything ever again. And then when the people are invested, for sure, we'll just come right back. Yeah, in. yeah. It's serious. Yeah. Last but not least, uh, Gucci Mane just partnered with Gucci. Go figure. <laughs> all right. Um, for Gucci Cruise 2020. And he also announced he's dropping an album on October 17th. Um, 
excited for the Gucci project, like with like all, oh, yeah. you know, all the I'm clothes excited stuff. To listen yeah. I'm yeah. not excited for the album. I Why can't not? fucking stand Gucci. I think really? he's garbage. He's all right. We'll see. How he's definitely not the king of trap, like the like the title he gets. I don't think he's king of trap. He's garbage, bro. He's, he's garbage. Not, he's not garbage. He's not garbage. He's so. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not the king of trap, but he's definitely not garbage. Um, he's garbage. Yeah, Who is he trap to? <laughs> Ti. Yeah. Ti. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Trap I. music I. specifically. There was an album. I, 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 I agree. I Ti. Agree. Those, those yeah, it's a, it's a toss up between because those two. Because I'm going Ti. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unanimously, trap music, trap music, music came out of Atlanta. We know that for sure. Right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know how everybody else feels about it. I would it. say Texas, though. Don't you yeah. think? Eh, maybe. Texas definitely had more influence than yeah. people give them credit for in they, the trap scene. Yeah, they, they don't get enough. Get a lot but of those they kind of put away the inventors of it. The oh, chop and screw. Yeah. Ghetto boys. <clears throat> so now we're going to the origins of it. That's yeah. Right. No, mm-hmm. I'm going to give it to Atlanta still, but do you Is have, Aya? you do, yeah, you have just the sound. The sound, um, okay. But no, you you have Ghetto Boys and you have uh, Scarface and mm-hmm. a lot of those Houston rappers that, mm-hmm. yeah, no, yeah, that's a good shout on that, Edgar. Yeah. That is, mm-hmm. that is. Texas, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who would have thought it came show. out of Texas, but it did. <laughs> All right, Edgar, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Superman number three. Are we jumping to music? Yeah, we're going to jump to the music. We're going to jump to the picks of the week. Picks of the week. Did Edgar tell you about that? So we all pick yeah, 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 yeah. a song that we've been listening to at the end of the week. You awesome. can play one of your tracks if you want. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> That's, you know, That's we, 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 we want to plug, right. plug your music, man. I mean, we do really appreciate you being here. Absolutely. I appreciate but we being all here. play. Support we, local music, period. Yeah. Always, yeah. ever. Always. Always. Yeah, yeah. Wishing you a lot of luck to, you know, the success. Thank you, you, thank you. Um, yeah. So, what's your song, Edgar? It's uh, Red Man, Muddy, um, Superman, Lover Three. Do you ever listen to new music? <laughs> I, I'm, just kidding. Guys new I'm just kidding. 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 I, I was just on the old school. T- I was on. I was on the '90s tip. Okay, oh, man. Man. I was on the highway. Yes, the shit was banging. Yes, '90s hits. You know. Yeah. Ever since So Brooklyn came out, Edgar's just been acting yeah. so <laughs> different. Sure, He's been acting so Girl, different, hey, bro. That's right. We got uh, Flatbush, buddy. Right yeah, there. that's right, man. Oh, shit. Right next door. Mm-hmm. All right. My Superman. best friend says we're from Flatbush. I'm like, nah, it's Crown Heights. <laughs> <laughs> that argument's never gonna end. Superman Lover Three. Shout out to Lou. Oh, we got to add. Oh, look at that. We have, we have my job. <laughs> Isn't that oh, crazy? Yeah, that's it. Holy fuck, that is. Brad, get out of my TV. Who did the video work on this? I, I it looks know. like I ass. I can tell it wasn't Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. I had to use Red Man, dude. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Red, Red is Man is yeah. comedy rap. That's what he is. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who's going next? I'll go next. I actually switched mine up at the last second since we were talking about like jazz stuff and stuff. This is actually a, a rapper that I really like. He All doesn't right. have a whole lot of stuff. Um... And he's super low-key, but his name's Mike B. This song's called All Be So Simple. This is the version that I listen to all the time. It's the ST5A live session, so they do a lot of live instrumentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super dope. Mike B? Add. (laughs) Good choice. That's like perfect writing song. Yo, that <laughs> is just, that was fire. That was a That's work a of art. Repeat. That was fire, man. <laughs> Bro, the fact that there's just trading eights at the end, <laughs> her scatting and and uh, the other chick. I'm a sucker for saxophone. Oh yes, yes, big yes. Big sucker yes. for saxophone. Yeah, might be. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm not that he sounds like Logic, but he, he just. It reminded me. The same kid. Logic. Yeah. 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 Old Logic for yeah. sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Because now he's pretty, I don't know. I used to be a huge Logic fan. No, wait a minute. You're not a Logic fan anymore? I still like, I like Logic. I just, I just don't put him on the same pedestal that I did. Like, oh, okay. Man. Like, uh, you think like he's phasing he was doing, out? Oh, he's not phasing out. He's just growing, and I don't know if I'm ready for it. Right. Oh, okay. Type yeah. of deal. Yeah. Like, I think you know, I, I like his Logic. young Sinatras are some of my favorites. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yeah. Yes. And that dude can rap. There's, there's no if, ands, or buts around it, but... I mean, what do you want? You want like 
You want artsy or you want hard? <laughs> <laughs> I want more music like Under Pressure. Under Pressure is his best album, in my opinion. No, I mean for for my pick of the oh, week. Fuck. You want hard or you want like that? Yo, give me a vibe. You've been giving me vibes for a while, bro. Sci High the Prince, no dope on Sundays. Woo! All right. You always come out left field with some shit. I, I feel like you think all week how you're just going to fuck my day up. <laughs> I know that's completely just self-indulgent on myself to think that hip -hop. you think that much about me, but I would like to think I'm so. I'm a hip-hop connoisseur, man. I think it's my... <laughs> Drone chat. What up, Brad? <laughs> I just saw Brad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got my jo our, our job again. Brings it back. Good. <coughs> That's nice. That's sigh. Uh, that is nice. <laughs> That's nice. Always repping the shy. That mm. dude eats bars for breakfast. Yes, <laughs> yes he does. He yes, has he beat does. loops. Very yeah, underrated. Right. You're right. That was my nice. favorite album of 2017. Okay. That was a. That was a. That was a banger, bro. Mm. That album was nice. I remember first hearing him for the first time. Granted, I was late to the show, but uh, when he did that song, Stadium with B.O.B. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was that, like 2010? Yep. God, 2010 was a good year for rap music. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, we got Warrington. You know what I was thinking about? What? Really? Uh, just came to mind. Kanye West, I Wonder. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, so yeah. Sound it's all that. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We pick whatever. Don't matter. I'm surprised yeah. I haven't played a Kanye song on here yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, we haven't. Man, dude. I haven't. Yeah. It's about to change. Yep. All right. I wonder. Apologies for anyone who listened to the pod last week. Uh, SoundCloud pulled all the tracks off of. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's why the they? first time that's ever happened to us. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. Interesting. I think it was the 30 Seconds to Mars song we played. <laughs> Just letting it be blue. And I wonder. Yeah. Mm. It was crazy. Nice. Yeah. It shit is. Just let the beat rock. So, yeah. So old school. That's how you end that. All right. Well, that. yeah. I think that's going to do it for us this week. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. man thank really you. Really appreciate me it. Warren's an Welcome NTN. anytime. Yes. Anytime. Um, we're going to put all of his. Social media links and everything in the description. Be sure to check him out. Uh, we'll promote one of his singles. You have a single out right now? Yeah, I have a single coming out. Okay. Uh, it's going to be coming out actually this month. Today is October 1st. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. So it's coming out this month. It's called November. And okay. uh, we're working actually on the music video to come out. Can you guess what month? <laughs> oh, nice. But the song's coming out. Uh, What's the date on that? When's it coming out? For, well, for the, for the, the music song. video? Just the song. Oh, for the song? Uh, we haven't had a date yet. But it's coming but, out this But it's month. coming out this month. Yeah, right. we're trying to figure out if it's, if, if it's going to be like the 15th or the 20th. So, But well, when it weeks. comes out, so we'll, I'm sure we'll play which, it on the pod. Absolutely. But, yeah. Would you like yeah. to come back and go over the... Uh, I, I would I'm, love to. I would right. love, love, love to. Cool. We'll bet, see you in November. Bet, bet. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. This might get loud. Episode 16. We out. Get down All right. To the